Number five on our house inspection checklist would be to check for any small gaps. So we covered the cracks. Now, cracks would be on your wall, basically. A gap would be something in between your window trim and your, or, and your stucco or siding or your brick, whatever's the finished exterior material. So if you have a brick, um, you got brick all over the outside of your house and you have wood trim oh, around the windows and doors, then you need to look for the gaps between the wood trim and the brick. Same thing with the stucco and siding. Any small gaps that you have anywhere around the house should be filled with some type of a material that is flexible. And a silicone would be a good material like that, as long as it's paintable if you're going to paint it. And again, they have, poly, they have polyurethane um, caulking, and I believe I said that right, but that stuff will actually expand and contract. It gives a little bit. A brittle caulking will actually just crack again or separate. So and you've seen that before. You go to a building and you look and the um, caulking has peeled away from the surface. So, and again, this could be from a variety of reasons. Maybe the surface was dirty and the adhesive didn't, the caulking didn't get to attach um, firmly because of the dirt or some type of oily separation. Either way, whatever it is, these areas need to be addressed and fixed. So that's anything, electrical, plumbing, anything. If you got a plumbing pipe coming through the wall and there's a gap around it or, or a small piece of missing cement, let's say, stucco, you got wood and the wood's not tight enough or they used caulking and the caulking separated, these gaps need to be filled. So any gaps around your house, um, fill them and make sure that you use the correct material. Like I said, um, some caulkings aren't paintable and some wood fillers might not do the job. So make sure you're using the right materials. Uh, just one point about the wood fillers. Wood fillers sometimes um, create, again, a brittle um, surface. So let's say you've got a round plug, uh, a hole that's a half inch wide, and you want to fill it with a wood filler. You fill it with a wood filler, and then that wood filler stays that size. It's not going to get any larger or smaller. However, if the wood around this plug that you uh, filled with uh, the wood filler, if that um, gets moist and expands, it will put pressure on the plug. And then when it dries out and uh, shrinks, it will actually um, separate from the plug and the plug will fall out. So just trying to make a point of some of the problems you could run into when you're fixing these things. So it's very important to get the right materials, but I can't recommend the right materials because they might not work for every single situation. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.